What is the difference between the Tissot PRX Paramatic 80 in 35mm versus the 40mm? 5mm does not sound like much, but it means a 25% size difference of the dial area, so it's a quite big difference. In this comparison, we compare all differences between the 35mm and 40mm PRX automatic self-winding watches, and I try to compare all available colors of the PRX Powermatic 80. Nowadays, most people consider 35mm watches to be for women and 40mm watches for men, but there is no clear-cut answer which PRX Powermatic 80 is the best for you. It depends on your wrist size and your personal taste. Sadly, I cannot show you the 35mm versus 40mm Tissot PRX on your wrist, but I can show you all the differences between the two sizes. Before I start, I want to ask you to consider using my shopping links below in the video description. You don't have any downside, but I get a small commission for referring customers, which helps me to make this comparison videos. All the Tissot PRX Powermatic 80 have an open case bag, as you can see here. So you can see that the movement itself for the 35mm looks obviously smaller compared to the 40mm PRX. The case height and width are very different, but the thickness for both watches is 10.9 millimeters. So compared to the overall size, the 35 millimeter PRX appears thicker and the 40 millimeter Powermatic 80 appears thinner. Another difference is the weight. If we compare the Tissot PRX Powermatic 80 with stainless steel bracelet, the 35 millimeter version weighs 108 grams versus 138 grams of the 40 millimeter watch. An almost 30% difference. With leather or rubber strap, both watches weigh significantly less, of course. Let's compare the Tissot PRX Powermatic 80 with black dial in 35 millimeter versus the 40 millimeter. Obviously, the case and wristband of the 40 millimeter PRX are bigger. There seems to be some difference in the brushed stainless steel, but I think this is just because of different lighting of the product pictures. The black waffle pattern dial background looks a bit different, but I think this is also due to slight different lighting. One subtle difference is the chapter ring. If you look at the ring outside the hour markers of the dial, but inside the bezel, the 35 millimeter has a black chapter ring and the 40 millimeter Powermatic 80, on the other hand, has a reflective chapter ring, which reflects the hour and minute markers of the dial. The biggest difference, however, is the position of the date window. The date window of the 35 millimeter Powermatic 80 cuts off the three o'clock hour marker. The 40 millimeter PRX has the date window just left of the full size three o'clock index hour marker. So there's a quite big difference you can notice between the two watches. All Tissot PRX watches offer an interchangeable quick release bracelet. Although there are other strap options, most 35mm PRX Powermatic 80 watches are sold with stainless steel bracelet. If you prefer other wristbands, probably you have to buy them separately. There are leather and synthetic options, which I'm not going to show here. The 40mm PRX Powermatic 80 in black is sold with stainless steel wristband, leather or rubber strap. So you have these three options. As mentioned before, the choice of the wristband determines the weight of the Tissot wristwatch significantly. The 40 millimeter PRX automatic watches weigh 138 grams with a stainless steel bracelet, 84 grams with leather strap and 90 grams with rubber strap. So if weight is an important factor for which Tissot PRX you want to buy, consider different straps. Just in case you want a Tissot PRX Powermatic 80 with black dial and 18K rose gold fluted bezel, your only choice seems to be the 40 millimeter size classic dress watch. Of course, there are 35 millimeter PRX watches with 18K gold bezel, but not with black dial. Maybe you noticed the Tissot PRX watches with 18K bezels usually do not have the square waffle pattern dial, but the sunburst effect dials. Let's compare the Tissot PRX Powermatic 80 with blue dial in 35mm versus the 40mm. The blue waffle pattern dial background of the 35mm PRX looks quite a bit darker compared to the 40mm PRX Powermatic 80. 
You can also see the subtle differences of the chapter ring again. The 35 mm watch has a blue chapter ring. The 40 mm watch has the reflective chapter ring, which reflects the hour and minute markers of the dial. As we have seen before, the date window of the 35 mm Powermatic 80 cuts off the 3 o'clock hour marker, whereas the 40 mm PRX has the date window just left of the full size 3 o'clock index hour marker, not cutting it off. The blue dial PRX Powermatic 80 is also available with blue leather strap or black rubber strap. The leather strap looks more elegant, the rubber strap looks more casual. But what do you think? Please let me know and leave a comment. Do you prefer stainless steel, leather or rubber on your wrist? Same as with Black Tissot PRX Powermatic 80, if you want the blue dial and 18K rose gold fluted bezel, your only choice seems to be the 40mm size Powermatic 80. And as seen before, the two-tone version of the Tissot PRX has the sunburst blue dial, not the square waffle pattern. Let's have a look at the Tissot PRX Powermatic with blue dial on the wrist. On the left you see the 35mm version, in the center the 40mm and on the right the 40mm with 18K gold bezel. As you can see the 35mm PRX looks quite small compared to the 40mm Powermatic 80 watches on the wrist. Just in case you want an even bigger watch on your wrist, I thought I mentioned the 42mm PRX chronograph. Here on the right hand side, it is easily distinguishable due to the subdials and two extra push buttons on the side. Comparing the 35mm versus 40mm PRX Powermatic 80 with Ice Blue Waffle Dial, the Ice Blue Dial is a relatively new addition to the Tissot PRX Powermatic 80 collection, different than before the chapter ring for both the 35mm as well as for the 40mm version seems to be reflecting the index hour and minute markers. But due to the color it's not easy to see. The date window differences are the same as with other colors. I think both Ice Blue PRX Powermatic 80 watches look quite amazing on the wrist. But what do you think? Let's compare the PRX Powermatic 80 with green dial in 40mm versus 35mm watch. The green of the smaller Tissot watch looks darker again compared to the bigger version. Similar to the black and blue dial PRX watches, the chapter dial of the 35mm seems to be green and the chapter dial of the 40mm watch looks reflective. The date window of the 35mm cuts off the 3 o'clock hour mark again as with other versions. I personally like the green dial Tissot Powermatic 80. Both the 35mm and 40mm version look great, but let me know what you think below in the comments. If you think even 40mm is too small for you, you can try the 42mm Tissot PRX Chronograph with green dial, which is even bigger than the 40mm version. If we compare the light green Powermatic 80 in 35mm versus 40mm, there are all the same differences as with the previous colors, so I'm not going to talk about all of them again. Both the 35mm and 40mm PRX Powermatic 80 are available with grey sunburst dial and 18K yellow gold fluted bezel. You notice the chapter dials for both watches seem to be yellow gold to match the bezel, but also the date window has a yellow gold frame. Interestingly, here the 35mm PRX has no golden 3 o'clock hour marker and the 40mm seems to have a cut off 3 o'clock hour marker. It's definitely shorter than the other hour markers on the dial. I think this is mostly because the golden frame for the date window takes up more space. At the same time it is more pronounced compared to the basic stainless steel PRX Powermatic 80 watches. As you might know you also have to pay more than twice for the fluted gold bezel PRX watches. Due to the fluting the light is reflected in many more angles compared to any smooth bezel. But what do you think? Do you like the fluted bezels or not? If you like the look of a two-tone Tissot PRX but do not want to pay twice as much for your dress watch, you can choose the PRX Powermatic 80 with silver waffle dial and smooth rose gold PVD bezel. PVD means there is basically only a micrometer layer of gold, thus this version is not much more expensive than the stainless steel Tissot PRX automatic watches. In the middle you can see the 35mm with silver dial diamond hour markers, except the 3 o'clock hour marker of course, and 18K rose gold fluted bezel. 
The 40 mm PRX also has a silver dial and 18K gold fluted bezel, but no diamonds. And of course, both the 18K gold bezel watches have the sunburst dial style. On the wrist, the 35 mm watch almost looks like it has a pink dial, but all three watches look quite amazing. Tissot offers the PRX Powermatic 80 also as full yellow gold PVD watches in 35 mm and 40 mm. Since the gold PVD coating only uses a micrometer thin layer of gold, those watches are only about 100 US dollars more expensive than the stainless steel watches. I think most people would assume that the gold PVD PRX watches are twice as expensive as the 18K gold bezel versions, but it's the other way around, of course. Some dial colors and color combinations are only available for the 35mm PRX Paromatic 80. Here we see the white waffle pattern dial and the mother of pearl dial with 18K rose gold bezel. Both look great on the wrist. Before I finish this comparison, I wanted to show the 42mm Tissot PRX chronograph watches with silver dial and black or blue subdials. If you prefer a big watch and or like to have a stopwatch on your wrist, maybe it's worth a consideration. Although despite being only 2mm bigger than the 40mm PRX, the price is about twice as high. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and consider using my shopping links below in the video description. You do not have any downside, but I get a small commission for referring customers. I hope this video helped you to choose between the automatic Tissot PRX Powermatic 80 in 35mm versus 40mm. Which one do you prefer? Will you buy one or the other? Please leave a comment.